Thanks very much, Randy. Right back to our phone callers. Next up is Todd. He's listening in Tampa, Florida. Hi, Todd. Hey, Hank. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing wonderfully well. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And you know what? Thank you very much for all that you do. The reason for my call is, and I know that I think we all struggle with this, and maybe I'm wrong, but um, I, I just hoping you can guide me in the right direction for Scripture or what have you. But how do you know God's will for you? I know it's very difficult, but, you know, anyway, I'll leave it open for you. Yeah, you mentioned the Scriptures, and God does reveal His will to us through the majesty of His Word. But he also reveals his will to us through people and circumstances. I was thinking just the other day about this. I was asked by Bobby Conway, who I've had on the broadcast talking about the fifth gospel, that a lot of people don't read four of the gospels, but we're the fifth gospel that a lot of people do read and react to. But anyway, he asked me last moment to come preach for him on Matthew chapter 2, and I put together a sermon that was titled The Magi, The Monster, and The Messiah. And when I had finished the sermon, three sermons actually, because I preached three times, there were several divine encounters, opportunities for witness that God had uniquely prepared for me. And he had uniquely prepared me to be effective, just had prepared me, equipped me to be able to answer those questions and use them as springboards. So I was thinking about how God led me in that situation through circumstances, I hadn't planned for that divine encounter, but I was choosing my steps. God was directing my path. So God leads us not only through his word, through precept and principle, but he also leads us through people and through circumstances. And we have to always remember that we are those who are indwelt by the Spirit of God himself. So we have come into intimate relationship with God. And because of that, the Holy Spirit directs us in, you might say, in ways that cannot be fully codified in words. It's a mystery of sorts how God can lead a human being through his presence within that person, through that intimate communion that that person has come into with God. And that's why once you become a believer or a follower of Jesus Christ or a participant in the kingdom, things just aren't accidental. You don't accidentally find your calling. Before you're a believer, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. But once you are indwelt by the Spirit, He guides you through the circumstances of life in a sovereign, supernatural way. So it's not only through means, like the Word of God, precept, principle, through people, but through a sovereign, supernatural guidance.